there's something about the outside of a horse that is good for the inside of a man. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. These are the words of Winston Churchill, a man who had a lifelong love of horses. I think a horse and a man who's riding them end up bonding. They become very close together. So I think Winston Churchill, as always, was, was quite accurate in describing um, uh, the, the bonding or noting the bonding between the man and the horse. An Appaloosa with a heart of gold, Spot was a gift to John Castle from his wife Marianne. Lovingly spoiled, Spot instantly became part of the family. It was an extremely close relationship. Spot and I spent a great amount of time together. He loved to lie down in his, uh, in his uh, uh, stall and put his head on my lap. One day, without warning, Spot was lame. The immediate diagnosis was laminitis. It's a word that instantly strikes fear in the heart of a horse owner. A progressively crippling disease of the hoof, laminitis is often thought of as a death sentence. Well, I was uh, totally shocked. There was no reason to think that this animal, this, this horse, uh, would be coming down with laminitis. In 1992, the castles were horrified to learn that there was little understanding of the cause and treatment of laminitis. I guess the other thing I wanted to go over with you is, is... Reaching out to Dr. James Orsini and his team at the New Bolton Center, they decided that Spot would be a good candidate to test newly developed treatments. We had tried uh, the use of orthotics, ways of trying to, to um, protect the foot while it went through the healing. Over the course of six years, through trial and error, much was learned about the cause and treatment of the disease. With loving care, Spot did regain mobility and quality of life. In the summer of 1998, Spot died of natural causes at the age of 25. At the end, he turned uh, in his stall and he looked out at the grass out the stall door and he loved the grass and he smiled and he just kind of passed away. Touched by the memory of their beloved spot, John and Marianne Castle were determined not to allow his death to be in vain. They partnered with Dr. Orsini to establish the first international conference on laminitis and diseases of the foot in 2001. Mr. Castle and Mrs. Castle are also very much committed to good research, and they believe good science that's evidence-based really translates into good clinical care. Today, the Laminitis Conference is convened every two years. International doctors and researchers are now working relentlessly to find the cause, discover new treatments, and ultimately, a cure. I think it is a, it's been a decade of hope. I think the future is even more hopeful because I think that we are really starting to work as a group now and actually collaborate. Well, over the last 15 years, we have actually had many successes. We're not anywhere near where we need to be, but we have certainly made tremendous progress and continue to progress. With a generous donation, John and Marianne Castle formed the Laminitis Institute of the University of Pennsylvania at the New Bolton Center. Nestled in the heart of Chester County and funded by the University of Pennsylvania, it is one of the five top-tier large animal clinics in the country. The Penn Veterinary School has the biggest caseload of any equine caseload of any teaching hospital, so we see a lot of horses. We have the generous and long-standing attention of Mr. Castle on the same disease, working through Jim Orsini, and now we have the Laminitis Fund um, and the Laminitis Institute that have allowed us to bring together researchers from around the world and ask what's the biggest difference we can make. We want to cure this disease, we want to prevent this disease in the future. We have made some important strides and there are some really exciting opportunities for us and one is actually ways that we can effectively cool the horse's foot. By doing that, what we're doing is we're actually protecting the, the foot and lowering its demands for both oxygen and for glucose. Uh, and so as we become more sophisticated and be able to deliver that cooling effect to the foot, we will be able to uh, prevent the disease from going from the early stages, the developmental stage, to the acute or chronic phase.
Discovering new treatments and determining the care for a horse with laminitis requires a team approach, including the horse owner. If the horse owner is educated as to what laminitis is and the state of the art, then they can actually partner with both the veterinarian and the farrier so that everyone has an understanding of the seriousness of the disease, but also what can be done to, to treat it and to manage the disease. Carol and Mark Zabrowski know the heartache of a horse with laminitis and came every day to the New Bolton Center for six months to personally care for their horse, Cotton Candy. Cotton was like my baby. <laughs> you know, I had him for 22 years. We grew up together, and I just remember, you know, I was, I was so scared that we were just going to lose him right away. We wanted to give him every chance because in our minds and in our interaction with him, he wasn't ready to go yet. I honestly believe that if it weren't for Mr. and Mrs. Castle, when Cotton came in here to New Bolton Center, he wouldn't have survived if it weren't for his dedication and absolute commitment after his experience with Spot. In recognition of their dedication and commitment as horse owners advancing laminitis scientific research, Carol and Mark received the first Spot Courage Award. Despite all of the medical advances that have been made at the New Bolton Center and around the world, laminitis research is difficult, expensive, and sometimes heartbreaking. Laminitis before Barbro was probably a word that few people understood. It became a household word. The world watched with compassion and hope as Barbaro bravely battled for his life. I like now for all of us um, to say a prayer for Barbaro and for all those that have loved him so much. Um, certainly grief is the price we all pay for love. Roy and Gretchen Jackson, the owners of Barbaro, have been so generous in actually allowing Barbaro to move this initiative forward. Every year, it's estimated that thousands of horses are humanely destroyed as the result of the unrelenting pain associated with acute and chronic laminitis. With scientific advances made through collaborative research, equine scientists around the world are more hopeful than ever that this tragic outcome will be prevented, treated, and possibly cured. I think there's great opportunities, and I think um, with time and with the commitment of, of many of the people that I've met, especially John and Marion Castle, uh, that I hope in my lifetime that we actually will bury this disease and, and conquer laminitis. Laminitis, it, it, it's not just scientific, it's not just something that a farrier is going to deal with. You know, these are real animals, real family members, they mean something to someone. It's not just an inanimate object that you can, you know, throw away. They're living beings. I think the great legacy that Spot may have is that if it's the basis upon which people are able to go several steps further in terms of dealing with this disease and many 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 animals avoid the disease because of uh, the time that we spent with Spot then then uh, then I think that will be very 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 valuable and that will be Spot's legacy. Somewhere in time zone space there must be some sweet pastured place where creeks sing on and tall trees grow some paradise where horses go. For by the love that guides my pen, I know great horses live again. Oh.